Hi everyone, my name is Sana and I am a professional certified makeup artist working in London. So today I'm going to create this beautiful glowy bronzy makeup look in which we're going to emphasize more on our eyes and we're going to keep our lips nude and glossy. And if you guys like this makeup look then keep on watching this video. I'm going to use this product by Wet n Wild Beauty and it's for dehydration and if you can see it has little specks of shimmer in it which would add a uh, glow. So just a few drops and rub it between your hands and then just on and off your lip. I'm also gonna use a glowy super gel by CBT. Next, I'm using this Elf Putty Primer. I'm just gonna apply it on the areas where I have some pores, which is definitely my nose area, a little bit on my forehead, and just a little on my cheeks. That's it. Now I'll be using Elf Glow Glow Liquid Printer. This will give just a little bit of coverage and a lot of glow and I just love this product. So I'm using my stippling brush to just buff it into my skin. So now I'm using a darker concealer to actually color correct my under eye. Just gonna blend it with a damp beauty blender. So now I'm taking my foundation and for this look I don't need a lot of coverage. I really want my base to look very very glowy uh, but I don't want that much uh, coverage. So I'm taking my favorite uh, Makey, it's called the uh, 24 hour skin tint. This is one of my favorite foundations from drugstore and I it with a flat brush and then I'm just going to blend it. Whenever you apply your foundation, make sure that you apply it on your neck as well because you don't want your neck to look different than your face. And you can see the glow. It's a perfect shade match for me and I love the glow. And since it's a very bronzy uh, look, so I'm gonna go heavy with the bronzer. First, I'm using this She Glam Liquid Bronzer and I'm just gonna apply it where it's needed and then blend it. Using my contour brush and I'm just blending it nicely. I'm just buffing it into my skin and not dragging the product. So I've just used this for the beauty coral beauty um, stick blush and I'm just blending it. It's such a gorgeous color. I'm using a brightening concealer underneath my eyes and I will be using it on all the high points of my face to just highlight it and also a little bit here to sharpen my contour. So this is how our face looks like um, after using all the liquid products and now I'm gonna set it with a setting spray before I move on with the powder products. Now I'm adding the powder bronzer. This powder is actually gonna set the liquid product underneath it and will also emphasize the look. I'm also gonna contour my nose with the powder, not using the liquid product, and I don't want to contour my nose a lot. I really want it to look beautiful, naturally, and soft. I'm taking my Huda Beauty Loose Powder and just gonna set my under eyes. by Too Faced, it's called Papa Don't Peach and I'm just gonna add on the apples of my cheek. So guys, you can already see how the skin looks. I really really like it. I'm gonna leave it like this 
and just continue with my eye makeup and uh, then later on we're gonna see if we wanna add something or not I'm just gonna do my brows first and I don't want them to look like very very made up I want them to be nice and just bushy and natural just gonna fill up some spaces and Okay guys, so let's start with the eye makeup now. Since we're doing the entire look, a very nice copper bronzy glowy look. The same will be with the eye makeup. I'm just using a deep taupe rust color in my crease line. For now, I am using Huda Beauty Topaz palette, but you can actually use any palette you have. Building up the crease. I'm gonna blend the outer edges of my crease line with another shade from ABH palette. The eye makeup should always be very nicely blended. We don't want to see any harsh lines or harsh corners because it does not look neat. Now I'm taking this shimmery color from the palette and just applying it on my lids with my finger. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. So I'm using the same crease color on my lower lash line and just joining the outer edges. So I'm adding a darker brown closest to my water line using the same palette. Just adding it here. I just want it to smooth out the edges. I feel like doing the same on my top lash so I'm just adding darker brown shadow and just blending it now taking a gold color and just applying it to the inner corners of my eye to brighten up the inner corners I'm just gonna extend it a little bit into my crease because then it gives like a very nice effect of open eyes As I'm really happy with my eye look, now I'm gonna apply some mascara and then later on we'll put some lashes and we'll complete the look. I have added the eyelashes and it's really amazing how lashes make such a big difference in your eye makeup. It just emphasizes and enhances the whole look. And I really really love how my eye makeup looks like. So right now I'm just applying the highlighter. So let's carry on with our lips now. I'm using this lip combo today. It's a Huda Beauty lip contour pencil. And I'm just gonna line my lips and uh, I'm gonna stop talking. This is the lipstick by Milani Cosmetics in the shade Tees. Okay everyone, this is the final look but let me just take these hairpins out to my hair and wear some jewelry and then show you the final look. This is the final look guys. This is what we have done today. We have created a very beautiful glowy bronzy look. We emphasized a lot on the eyes and kept the lips nude and glossy and I am just in love with the look. If you like this video and the makeup look that I have created, please don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I would love to see you guys over there.